to M4 Christ. Hello, happy new month, happy new month, happy new month, happy new month to everyone. Now, what are you doing today? Says a mess. I hope you're doing good. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And wishing you a happy new month. I'm also glad to hacks. I hope you saw our message summary for the month of February, which we shared this past Wednesday. So remember, every last Wednesday of the month, we usually have our me monthly message summary for the uh, previous months. So I hope you saw the February monthly message summary. God bless you. God bless you. Happy New Month once again. How are you doing? How is your family and how is everyone around you? I hope everything is good. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Happy New Month. I'm so excited. It's a new month. It's a new month to go with the glory. Um, I have a word to share with you. But before we go into the word of God, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another privilege to have your word, to receive your word, to receive the benefit of serving you. We say may name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that even as we hear, as we listen, as we share your blessings unto us, we pray that you will give us the understanding, you will give us the grace to receive the full benefit, the purpose of these blessings in our lives and our endeavors, now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, sirs, and God bless you, men. God bless you. God bless you. So, there is a great benefit for serving God. There is a great benefit for serving God. So, which means you should develop that interest. You should develop that passion for you to serve God. And what is serving God? committing yourself, committing your time, devoting your skills and talent to the works of God, to the activities of God in the church or community service in a way that, yes, this is something that glorifies God. This is something I am actually working for God. And it's uh, pretty much about 95% of this picture about serving God is actually pictured in the house of God, in the church. You you are in the in the music department, you, you are in the ushering department, you are in the instrumental department, like in different areas, in different sections, or you are in the cleaning department, wherever you are in the design department, wherever I keep mentioning, right? So it's pretty much in this place. And a little of it, which might also be it's like you being in the community service now as a church or as a group from the church, not being in the community service and rendering this service, being volunteering your time for these people, to so these people identifying as a child of God, as the people of God coming to bring this good news or good service or activities help assistance to this community to these people praise the lord so there's benefit so what is what is the section what does the understanding about the benefit of these services we talked about the church we talk about the community what does this benefit god might actually it's not even might but eventually god is gonna bless you and make you prosper just because just because of the service of which you are doing for him which simply means and we're going to be getting more understanding now from this message we're going to be sharing today which simply means that you should be humble you shouldn't be proud and let pride now begin to manifest in your actions because the only reason why you are being blessed is because you are serving so if you want to be proud now removing yourself from the service you actually bringing danger to yourself in the sense that God might actually take away the blessing because the purpose of which is actually blessing you, you're no longer there. You're no longer serving. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you with more understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, we're actually going to be having a message on that. Uh, 
benefit of serving God. Benefit of serving God. Benefit of serving God. Benefit of serving God. But for today, we, um, I'm glad to share with you by the grace of God, I was given a privilege and part of this benefit, that is how, why we started with that, right? Benefit of serving God. So I'm glad to share this message with you. Um, so this is a message. Um, uh, benefit of serving God. Benefit of serving God. Actually, we're going to just leave it like that. Benefit of serving God. But within this benefit of serving God, I'm inserting this message of which by the grace of God, it's the benefit of serving God. Uh, I was given an assignment in the church, right, to speak on a team titled Position for a Reason. And this is kind of like a direct assignment, right? Like you're given this, speak about this particular topic. So... I got this, the understanding. So that is kind of like the benefit of serving God. I like, if God don't want me to like speak or share the word concerning this topic, I wouldn't have any, I wouldn't have received anything like that. But having this assignment, now I'm given this assignment to speak with the people of God. So I have to like listen, like study and like, what do you want me to share with your people? Now, God is giving me um, this message i'm about to like share with you right now god is giving me this blessing in the position of blessing now is blessing me for the purpose of sharing with his people benefit of serving god which means that if i'm not given this assignment i wouldn't have received this blessing of which i'm about to share with you now I wouldn't have gotten the understanding. That is the point about the blessing. I wouldn't have gotten the understanding of this message, of this, of which I'm going to be sharing with you, of this war now. Benefit of serving God. Given an assignment, and now God now look at, okay, you, you've been given an assignment to, Talk to my people. All right, I'm going to bless you so that you can go talk to my people. That is the purpose. Like, But if I was not given the assignment, God might not like decide like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, God might decide not to like, okay, give me the understanding because like, there was no assignment. There was no assignment. It might, it might give me like a different message to share on them for Christ's gospel messages, but on this particular subject, I wouldn't have gotten this understanding if I was not given the assignment. So that is part of benefit of serving God. I hope you got it now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, so now sharing. Uh, the team, once again, position for a reason. Position for a reason. And subtitled so by the grace of God, which I got was Acknowledge God. And this is the story about um, the life of Esther, Queen Esther, Queen Esther. The book of Esther chapter 4 verse 14 says, For if you remain completely silent at this time, and this is um, this is a situation whereby like the Jews, they did like... The, like Naaman, this Amon, right? Amon, 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 not Naaman, Amon. Um, this man want to kill, like, he want to, like, be, just because of Mordecai, just because of one person that made him annoyed. Now he traced this man to his community, to his people, to his lineage, and he's like, ah, because of my position, amen, now close to the king, he wanted like, okay, because of my position, I'm actually going to destroy these people. Like, I, I, I'm, it's not just that I'm close to the king, I'm also rich. I could actually pay those who are going to execute these people. Praise the Lord. So this at this point now, Mordecai is writing to Esther, this young girl which he trained in the way of the Lord. Now God has favored this lady to become the queen, to become to be to be in a higher position in the king's palace, in the king's life, the queen of the land. 
Now, this problem, this challenge now come after um, Esther became a queen. Now Mordecai is requesting, like, don't... Okay, we're going to say, all right. So, for, for if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time like this? If you decide to be silent because now you're a queen, now you're in a position, you felt like, okay, even if they kill the Jews, they can't, they, they can't even kill me. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. So, Monica is like, don't feel like that. If you feel like, okay, now because of my position, I don't, I don't need to bother about like whatever. You, you people have gone. If you have not done wrong, nobody is going to decide to execute you. So it is because of your like your fault and whatever. So I, I don't, I don't have time for you. Let, let's whatever we happen, let it happen to you guys. I mean, I'm, please don't even bother me. Please a lot. But Queen Esther didn't do like that. She acknowledged God, uh, yes, indeed. And the, the following verse, a uh, response, verse 6, 15 says, Then Esther told them to reply, Mordecai, Go, gather all the Jews who are present in Shushan and fast for me. And fast for me, neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My mates and I, not only you, it's not just you that's going to be fasting and I'm just going to go as the queen and just like, like, because as a queen, I don't need to fast. No, you fast. I and my mates are, will also, my mates and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king. I will go to the king, listen, which is against the law. Like, she can actually choose to say, this is none of my business. Like, I mean, if this eventually happens, it's not going to affect me. But she is going extra mile to say, to, to say that, to, to say, you fast. My mates now are going to fast, but still, still, I'm going to go to the king. And the point is that it's actually against the law, but I'm going to take this risk for you. Now, for all of us, despite the fact that if it's actually up, it won't affect me. It, they, they can kill me, but because for all of us, not just you, but for all of us, because I don't, I don't, I don't just want to mention like you speak on a behalf to say you, because it can, because that, that is actually the re, like the purpose, the reality, like it's actual. But with humility, she wouldn't use because of you or because of us. Praise the Lord, which is against the law. And if I perish. I perish. Like, I'm taking a risk for for her sake. But eventually, yes, we're going to actually pray and prepare. But per adventure, if, if, if anything actually happened, that's, I'm willing. I'm willing to let it happen. I'm willing to face the inconveniences for God to be glorified. I am willing to face the inconveniences to actually help you, to actually assist you in that you need. In that which you can't do, I'm willing to face the inconveniences, putting myself aside, putting my own comfort and convenience aside, my position aside, and putting a risk on myself just to help you as children of God. Benefits of serving God. benefit of serving God. Praise the Lord. We, we're going to actually like just just leave our message on benefit of serving God because we, we, we like the, this message to share with you is a, is a long one so I don't want to like take too much of your time. But benefit of serving God, I'm getting more understanding about that aspect so I wish to just continue by the grace of God to deliver that as the Lord brings it up. Amen. So, Esther is putting her 
own conveniences aside just to be able to stand. Understanding that, yes, indeed, God might have actually positioned me because among the many people who came for this position as a queen, I was selected. I was selected. And praise the Lord. Ha, hallelujah. Benefit of serving God. A little, a little about myself, by the grace of God. It's while growing up, <laughs> while growing up, still growing up, but the, 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 the point is like, while I was a young child, right? I, by the grace of God, I became in love with God and like in the saints love, like like always in the church, I was going to church, I was going to church. And this, um, this um, experience I'm going to share with you, uh, my, elders, my elders brother, um, one day called me and it was actually, okay, that was after I sat for my um, senior school, what heck, um, it's called senior school exam, it's called what heck. So he, he was actually uh, in a different location and uh, with a relative and he was about to check the exam, the result for me and they called me and it, it was later when I began to hear this. So he was like, okay, like if you call him, he might actually be in the church. <laughs> so he was like, you already spoke with him, like he might actually be in the church right now. So eventually when he called me, I was like, I'm on my way to church. So when everybody had, they were like, <laughs> look at what I just told you. So what am I trying to say? Like, like committing yourself to this activities, to the service of God, God is actually going to favor you, going to bring some benefit your way. Praise the Lord. I encourage you says a mess. God is like an employer. He's actually an employer with ben with benefits. For for example, now you applying in a for a position on a, in an organization, you've gotten like you've gotten description of the job and you've seen the benefit, the the the, the, the amount they're gonna pay you. You 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 are so interested, like wow, you're gonna have coverage of this part of the benefit. You're gonna have time for vacation. You're gonna have enough time to spend with your family. You're gonna have some some bonus of which they're gonna get be given to you at the. At some quarter, just for instance, at on quarterly basis, they're going to be giving you some benefits, some some additional uh, benefits, like in it, apart from your regular salary. So you've you've got an idea about all this, and you you apply for the job. You are now in the organization. You were so happy to be there. You were so happy to work there. And mind you, when they begin to see your commitment and your extraordinary work effectiveness, they're going to even promote you, which is part of the benefit right now, and even give you some more additional benefits. And now, talking about God, God, our Creator, He has a vineyard in the, in the illustration of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, like, go into the vineyard and walk. Like, you're going to get surprised. You're gonna get you're gonna be paid for your service, you're gonna be paid for the labor. God now is employing you, expecting you to be working for him. Working for him. I think we have a message that's what I'm trying to like reflect right now. I think we have a message titled My Father's Business. My Father's Business. Uh, my Father's Business. Yes, it's going to definitely, uh, we, we spoke about like you. God need your assistance. God need your help. God needs your help. Praise the Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ told us, it's go ye therefore into the world and preach the gospel to all creatures. And now, in this seven God, this seven God, for you to receive the benefits, you, like, getting in love with God, falling in love with God, and have that desire, interest to serve God. 
through your personal relationship. Now, before you can love God, you are already in a relationship with Him. So, having this, starting this relationship with Him and having this love for God, interest for God, for His honor, for His name to be praised and glorified, then it's going to be easy for you to be serving God. It now leads you to receiving benefits because you're serving God. And remember, as we started, by you, you are receiving this benefit because of your service for God. Remember to remain humble. Don't be proud. Because the only reason why you are being blessed, receiving those extra blessings, is because of your service. So continue to serve God. Keep serving God. And now, a series of messages by the grace of God will coming to resume to that also very soon. Keep serving God. Series of messages. Keep serving God. So, as you're being blessed, keep serving God. Continue. Acknowledge God that indeed you're receiving these blessings and extra benefits from God because you are serving God. So, therefore, uh, so continue in those service, in those things that makes God happy with you. Pleased with you. Serving God. It's also going, therefore, according to the instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go, therefore, and preach the gospel to all courageous. Tell someone about Jesus. And may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Benefit of serving God. Benefit of serving God. There's a great benefit for serving God. And may the Lord bring you your benefits even as you serve him in the name of jesus christ so god be the glory benefits of serving god and for christ's gospel messages see you next time remember it's a new month happy new month and i'm so excited to wish you happy easter in advance jesus sends a message to you look toward to it jesus thought of you that's a that's the title of the message jesus thought of you Look forward to it. It's a blessing. It's a message from the Lord Jesus Christ just to you. Look forward to it and be blessed. God bless you. God bless you. Benefits of serving God. God bless you as you serve him in Jesus' name. See you next time. Actually, this coming Wednesday is going to be our first Wednesday of the month, which is um, for Christ's Gospel Messages prayer section every first Wednesday of the month. So look forward to it. May the Lord bless you and prepare you even to pray too. May the Lord give us the grace to pray beyond our abilities in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Benefits of serving God. God bless you.